President Takofuado, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and the NDC's John Dramani Mahama are all second generation politicians. Akufuado's father, Justice Edward Akufuado, was a ceremonial president in the Second Republic. Dr. Baumia's father, Al Haji Muni Baumia, was MP, minister, and one time chairman of the Council of State. And John Mahama's father, Emmanuel Adama Mahama, was an MP and minister under the Nkrumah regime. The current parliament has a number of politicians taken after their parents in there. In the current parliament, there are a number of second generation politicians who are applying their trade in the house. There is Zanetta Rollins, whose father was the president of this country, and she now represents the people of Klote Kole in parliament. There's also Farouk Aliu Mahama, who is member of parliament for Yendi, whose father, Alaj Aliu Mahama, was vice president under the Kufo regime. And then there is Betty Crosby Mensa, whose father was member of parliament for Afram Plains. For MP for Afram Plains North, Dr. Betty Crosby Mensa, irrespective of the fact that her father, Crosby Mensa, was also MP, her path into politics and parliament was not an easy ride. Most often, when I even went round, I saw that in the deepest of rural communities, there were some level of infrastructure that the people attributed to my father. Yet still, the communities came out to say that uh, because my father did not perform, uh, I wasn't fit to handle the position. And so, to some extent, I wouldn't say it gave me a leap, but I believe sincerely that as a person holding that office must have definitely had an impact. Ralph Pukweduse has just won the NPP primary to contest the safe seat of Bekwai in the Ashanti region, beating national policing sensation, COP retired George Alex Mensa. Three generations of his family have been involved in UP MPP politics. He says he owes his trajectory to the influence of his forebears. My father is a founding member of the Bekwai constituency. As a matter of fact, when you look at the history, he was the first elected constituency chairman. Uh, that naturally brought my interest in politics up. Not forgetting that my father's junior brother was the member of parliament elected in the year 2000-2001. And he served under His Excellency the former president, John Ejekum Kofor, for eight good years. Our Honorable Kofi Adusa, former MP, but is this a good trend? If we allow uh, the children of politicians to take charge, we still wouldn't have the feel of the country. Moreover, we are, we are complaining about embezzlement and mismanagement and other stuff. And then it's a trend. It will still go in that same direction. Some of the politicians are very good. Let me use the late Rollins as an example. He was the president of Ghana. And then now his daughter, and Honorable Zenato, is an MP for Usuklote, uh, Usu and she's working very well. In the UK Parliament, there are 67 MPs who are either related to current or former MPs. And in the US, the Kennedys, Bushes, DuPonts, among others, are established political families. For political historian at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor Samuel Edujenfi, the phenomenon presents merits and demerits but a lot more is expected of these second generation politicians because they have to live up to their family name. It should not just be privileges to move to a certain height by virtue of family name or, or a kind of glory which your parent had some years ago. You'd rather have the privilege or the opportunity to pursue your own ambitions within the realm of what you have learned from your father. When you come only by virtue of your, what your father has been able to chalk over the period, you may falter, you may fumble, you may not be able to live up to expectation. Duke Mantopoku, TV3 News, Accra.